everyone, it's Michelle and today I'm going through my August empties. As always with my monthly empty videos, this does not mean I use the entire product in the month I'm talking about, it just means that I'm finally finished with the product. So I could have been using it for a week, I could have been using it for a year. Don't really know. All I know is that it's gone now and let's just get into it. I got a bunch of stuff to go through. As always, I'll try to separate it into scat category. As always, I'll try to separate it into category, whether skincare, makeup, bath, you get the idea. Let's go. We'll do makeup first. I went through a Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. Yeah, it's dead. Anyway, this is my favorite setting spray. I go through probably one a month. This probably honestly was gone through in August, start to finish, because I love it. I use it all the time. I use it every time I do my makeup, and I would definitely repurchase this because I have, I think I have like three backups right now as it is. So love this mist, highly recommend it. All right, what is this? This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I think I have the shade Espresso. Yes, this is a really good dupe for the ABH as far as the pencil. Oh, I can't show you the pencil because it's gone, but it's a pretty close drugstore dupe. I think this is like three or four bucks, something along there, very cheap. So I would rebuy it. I do prefer the ABH Brow Wiz. That is my all-time favorite brow product, but this is a good close second. Speaking of the ABH Brow Wiz, I did go through a Brow Wiz. Um, not sure when I got this one again, but it's gone now. And this is the shade Dark Brown, my favorite brow product ever. I think I have two backups right now, so I would repurchase it, but I don't have to because I stocked up when they were on sale. I think during the last Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, maybe they were half off at Sephora. I don't remember the deal, but I did stock up on them because I hate paying full price for them. So yeah, favorite brow product, highly recommend. I guess I lost the lid. I went through a mini Becca First Light Priming Filter. I have a few of these minis and I have like one full size I'm working through. I do get minis a lot in sets. This is one of my favorite primers. It's very hydrating. If you have dry skin, even normal skin, and you like kind of a luminous primer, you'll love it. It's not pore filling at all. Let's just get that out of the way. It doesn't fill any lines, pores, cracks, but it does give my face just the prettiest healthy shine, and I love pairing it with matte foundation, so I do recommend this one, and I would rebuy it if I didn't have so many backups right now. God, so far I'm loving everything. What is this? Who am I? This is my only bath thing. Let's just get it out of the way. This was a sponge gel. As you can see, it's just a sponge now. I love sponge gels. I got this probably in a FabFitFun box. Um, I don't know, but they say they last, I think, up to 14 washes. This thing lasted me forever. Basically, you get it, and it's a solid, and it already has, like, all the soap in it, and it's so good, like, to exfoliate the skin. Oh, I love these, and they usually have amazing scents. I don't remember what this one was. I don't know. It was really good though. Right now I'm using a pumpkin spice one. Oh my God. Anyway, I do recommend these. They're bomb and I would rebuy them, but I have like three backup sponge gels right now because they're my favorite. So yeah, I finally went through a sponge gel. I went through a hundred cotton pads. Um, this is really good for me. If you've been watching me for a while, I used to go through like one of these a month and I haven't gone through one in at least like two months because I've been using makeup remover like those washcloths so often lately. I really only use these for toner or if I like have to clean up my face like really hardcore, like a bunch of fallout and I've, nothing else is working. Um, yeah, so I'm proud of myself that I've been using the removable makeup wipes versus these or those that are machine washable. You know what I mean? But I did go through one, sorry. This is very conservative for me. I've only gone through one e.l.f. brush cleaner wipes. Um, again, if you've watched my empties videos, I usually go through like three of these a month because I use them between brush washes just to get the pigment off. However, I can't find any retailers for these anymore. So I've been like coveting them that, and I really haven't been wearing as much makeup lately. I've been so busy with going to the gym that by the time I get home, I don't want to do a full face. So, uh, that's helped a lot too, but I did go through a box of these and I would recommend them. And if you can find them, get them because they are the bomb. I went through my second bottle of Halo Beauty, the Kiwi Seed Booster. It's the, it's supposed to be the one for skin. I have more of this, but I've stopped taking it for now. I'm giving myself a little break just because it's not doing anything for me. I just don't think I'm a good candidate. I don't have a lot of breakouts. Uh, I'm just not someone who suffers from a lot of skin ailments, I guess. So I don't think it's doing anything for me. Maybe if you're someone with really stubborn acne or cystic acne, you would notice a difference. But for me, it's not enough 
to like, oh, I don't have a pimple here, but I have one here today. You know, it's just, I don't know. I don't know that I'd rebuy it, but I am taking a break from it for now at least. Shit, I had another makeup product. Sorry, this is the Smashbox Primerizer. It's a mini, obviously. So there is a little bit left in the bottom. I mean, that's just washed up on the sides, but I can't get any more, well, you see what I mean. I can't get any more out and this like just won't twist off. I've tried to like squeeze it off with scissors. You can see, I think those are teeth marks because I am a classy girl. Anyway, I've used as much of it as I could. I really do like this primers. You can probably notice a theme that I do like hydrating primers. This is great. Again, it's another one that doesn't really fill my pores or fill lines, but it does make my skin feel so good, so moisturized, so nourished. I really like this one and I would rebuy it, but it's very expensive. So I'd wait till it was like on an Ulta sale or something, but it's really good. You can really tell I wanted to get it all out. This is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. I was using it at nighttime. It wasn't very hydrating. I honestly didn't like this one, but it was a sample and I wanted to get through it since I had started it. I wouldn't recommend it, maybe unless you have really oily under eyes. I don't know. It did not do enough for my skin at least. It didn't do anything for me, so I wouldn't rebuy it. Let's just talk about eye creams now. This is the Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker Fix. It's an eye cream, basically. Um, the little teeny tiny sample, but I got, again, everything out of it. This one was pretty good. I was using this one at nighttime after I finished that Clinique one, and it was all right. Um, it was a lot more hydrating, but I still think I've used better. I know I've used better, scratch that. So while this was okay and it was a nice enough sample, I wouldn't rebuy it. it mm. All right, and then my favorite, this is a mini Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I have talked about this before on my channel. This is my favorite eye cream for daytime. It really does brighten my under eyes like nobody's business and it's like just hydrating enough, especially for daytime. I feel like it fills my lines. I don't know, this is just so nice. I would rebuy it. I have a few backups already, so I don't need to hurry up and run out and get it, but I do love this eye cream so much. Definitely my daytime favorite. Definitely get it. Oh, more philosophy. This is the Time in a Bottle. It just says it's a resist renew repair serum and I was using it on my like neck and chest at night just until I got rid of it or you know until it was out. It was fine. It was a hydrating enough serum. I don't know. I wouldn't run out to rebuy it but it was an okay sample especially when I was just using it on my neck. Is this another eye cream? Dear lord. I think what happened those two other samples I had opened them so I had to get through them. The banana bright I used that all up and then I guess I was using this at night. I don't know. It's gone now. It's the belief um, moisturizing eye balm. This is one of my more favorite eye creams that I've used at night. This is super hydrating. Like it is a moisturizing balm, like it says. Uh, yeah. And it, I think it's cheaper than like a lot of the high end options, but it's not, you know, as cheap as like drugstore eye treatments, if there are any, I don't know about that, but this one was really nice and I would recommend it and I would rebuy it. Actually, it was really good. All right, it went through a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. This is a good cleanser. It's a gel, obviously. Uh, so if you don't like gel cleansers, you wouldn't like this one, but I really do like this. I got it in a set. It wasn't my first time using it, but I do like it. I would rebuy it. I do like gel cleansers. I mean, I really don't have a preference, let's be real, but this was nice. It's not my favorite I've ever used, but it got the job done. All right, I went through a Pixi Glow Tonic. This is my favorite daytime toner. It really does make your skin glow. I just think it's so nice. I like the smell of it. I like how it feels. I like everything about it. And a little does go a long way. It takes a while to go through it. I even think it helps like just with my acne. I don't know. I really like this toner for daytime. I would rebuy it. I have rebought it. I have a backup right now that I just switched to yesterday. Anyway, you don't care. Then while we're still talking about toners and amazing toners, I went through Finally, my Ulla Henriksen Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner. And on here it says transform, and I think that's for a very good reason. This is so transformative, like holy shit. I started using this and I think two weeks in, I was like, wow. This was the only thing new I had added to my skincare routine. It, I can't even explain. It just made my skin look clearer and brighter it gave it more life. I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't as dull looking. I don't know. This is a forever ride or die now. I do have a backup that, again, I just switched to yesterday because I ran out and it's so good. I'll forever be buying this toner. All right, last but not least, I went through an Ulla Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. I was using this 
So using this, I was using this at daytime and it was a very nice daytime moisturizer, perfectly hydrating. It wasn't super thick for like a night cream, definitely good for daytime for my skin at least. It wasn't my favorite. Like I've used ones that I like a lot more, but it was really good. Like I would rebuy it if, I don't know, I guess my few favorites were sold out. This might be in the top five though like number five that I've ever used. If you want a video of me ranking my favorite moisturizers, let me know down below because fuck, I've got a lot. Um, but this was really good. I'd rebuy it. It wasn't bad at all. Whew. All right, everyone. That was it for my August empties. Have you tried any of the products that I mentioned here? What do you like? What do you hate? Let me know below. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much and I'll see you later. Bye.